welcome back to my studio. If you're new here, my name's Morgan and I make all things party and event. And today I wanna to show you how to make these simple balloon roses. Whether you want to add these as an accent to a larger balloon arrangement or make a dozen of these and give them as a gift, it's a simple project that comes together really easily. So follow along and I'll show you how to do it. To make a rose, you're going to need one lime and one pink 260 balloon, a hand pump, and a pair of scissors. So to start off, I'm going to make the stem of my rose using my lime 260 balloon, and I'm going to inflate that to eight pumps of air, which it should look like this with just an inch or two left uninflated on the end of the balloon. This balloon is pretty stiff, so I'm going to let a little bit of air out so it's nice and soft before tying it off. Next, I'm going to make some leaves on the stem. So I'm going to fold the nozzle end of the balloon over so that the balloon is touching itself. And I'm going to make my leaf about three finger widths long before pinching the balloon and twisting it right where that nozzle touched. Then I'm going to take the nozzle and tuck it through the loop that we made in that leaf. And that's going to secure it all together and it won't unravel on us as we make the next one. So I'm going to soften the balloon up by squeezing it a couple times before folding the balloon over once again, pinching it at the desired length and twisting it around. I'm going to repeat this for a third time so I've got three leaves at the very end of my balloon and I'm going to arrange these so they sit nice and flat on the tip of that balloon. Now I'm going to leave mine as a long stemmed rose so I won't be trimming off any of this but if you wanted to include this into a balloon arrangement you could always twist anywhere along the remainder of the balloon before tying off and deflating any unused portion. Now I have a little bit that's uninflated on the end and I'm going to just squeeze along the length of that stem to push the remainder of the air to the tip of the balloon so it's nice and rounded. Now I'm going to set the stem aside and start inflating the rose portion. Using my pink 260 balloon, I'm going to inflate it to four pumps of air. This should be about half the length of the balloon filled with air. Once I have that tied off, I'm going to run my hands over the entire length, softening the balloon. Now we need to bring the rose portion and the stem together. So I'm going to set the end of my pink balloon right in the center of my leaves and take the nozzle from the pink balloon and wrap it in and out between a couple of those leaves, ending right against my pink balloon to hide the nozzle. Once I've got that made, I'm going to make the first six finger section of my rose. This is about four inches in length. I'm going to put a twist right at that six finger mark and that will be the body of our rose. I'm then going to follow this up with three pinch twists. And to make a pinch twist, first make a bubble and then fold the balloon over so that the twists on either side of the bubble can touch each other. Pinching those together and twisting it around, that will complete your first pinch twist. So we're going to do the same thing two more times so we have three pinch twists making a bubble folding it over so that the twists touch and twisting them around each other to secure them in place. Once you've got all three of those made, you then want to arrange them so that the twist portion of each of those is all pointing in towards the center and this is going to make the top central part of our rows. Now we need to build up the body of the rows, and to do that I'm going to make three more six finger sections going up and down the side of the rows. So first I'm going to soften up the balloon with my hand and then make a six finger section twisting it and then we need to secure that twist into the arrangement. So I'm going to tuck it behind one of the leaves and bring the balloon back up before softening it and making another six finger section. Once we've got this six finger section made with its twist, we then need to secure that twist into the top of the rose. So I'm going to tuck that twist right underneath one of our pinch twists and wrap the remaining balloon all the way around to those three pinch twists and going past the, where we started. Then I'm going to make one more six finger section going down with that twist. I'm going to tuck behind one of the leaves and that should give us four six finger sections making up the body of our rose. Once we've got that done, we then need to make the nice final petal that gives this its real rose shape. Soften up the remainder of the balloon with your hand and then tuck the balloon in between two of those six finger sections until it comes out about halfway up the rose. Then I'm going to hold that spot with my thumb and take the remainder of the balloon and pull it nice and taut around those three central pinch twists going all the way around and coming back down so that the end of the balloon overlaps the spot where we first came up. So we want to make sure we go past that six finger section where the balloon came out of, wrap the tip of the balloon around one of our green leaves, and then tuck away that tail inside the rose so you can't see it. If you have a little bit of extra air in the end of your balloon, you can always twist it off where it tucks in behind the green leaf and then take a pair of scissors and just let out the little bit of air that's at the end before tucking it away so you can't see it. And that's it! This balloon rose is ready for a party. I hope you're inspired by today's project and give this one a try. This is a wonderful skill to keep in your back pocket. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe below, and don't forget to check out our Patreon group if you'd like to up your party planning game. So until the next time, you can check out some of my other videos over here. And remember, 
stay creative, everybody. Bye.